Hi guys, Rob here, welcome to episode 3 of our Tour of the World series. So in the last episode, as you can see, we toured our quarry and the winter house, which is just out of the distance, as because right behind me is my city. Now today, as you can see by the title, we are going to explore the industrial estate. So uh, 3, 2, 1, bang. Right, so, I'm only going to explore what is currently in render distance, because luckily, the only things I want you to really see is in render distance. So the, the bricky stuff is pretty much what I want you to see. So first of all we're going to visit this contraption here which is our lighthouse. But it's not any old lighthouse, it is our rotating lighthouse. Don't believe me? Well I'll show you. A lot of redstone have, has been put into this. As you can see we've got a little fence to block everyone off as well. So, right, so uh, I don't know if this will work 100% because it does lag out quite a bit. So I'm a bit worried what it would do because I haven't tried it since I built it. So it could go terribly wrong. But I'm not sure. So let's just try it. Oh, well, we can hear the pistons going. Let's see. Well, it's working. I'll tell you that. The uh, rotating lighthouse is actually working well. Uh, for your very eyes. So um, before it lags out the whole server, I don't want to use it too much. But as you can see, every single block and all of that is going up and down like it's supposed to. And from far out, I've tried it before, uh, from far out you can actually see quite a lot of it. That one comes in a bit late, but oh well. Uh, I haven't really seen many rotating lighthouses in many cities, so for me to have one is quite a privilege, to be honest. Let's, let's make sure all of them is back in order. Right. So if you want to see contraptions, then uh, I'll go up the top and show you, because I'm kind like that. And here we are. So, uh, let's get rid of these blocks as well. Why not? So as you can see, just below there is what I've done. Uh, you can't really see that bit from... Wow, there's a lot of stuff to be built here. I'm not going to show you absolutely everything. So there's a bit I just uh, put the minecart on. It obviously activates the um, redstone torches, goes up to the next set, and then it activates the redstone for the bottom pistons. These ones, I think, are to control the ones above, as you can see there. And let me fill in the cobblestone again because I don't want it to be left like that. As you can see. And then obviously these ones are for the top one. So uh, let's fill in all of this as well, otherwise it will. Yeah. There we go. So in order for it to work, you have to cover pretty much all the redstone torches within the cobblestone. Um, so yeah. So obviously there has four bits there, and then it has two to three corner ones. I don't. I don't know exactly because. Obviously, um, I didn't, well, I made this, obviously, but it's been a long time since I made it. Like I said, it's been a very, very a long time since I've built all of this. It's been a very, uh, I think it's been a few months, actually. So, obviously, um, the redstone obviously varies. Uh, the next one, then the next one, the next one, it goes one further, as you can see. Um, to activate corner ones, you need the redstone to kind of go in, like, in a zigzag way. So it's very good. If you if you don't really understand it all, then you, you can pause the video there to uh, feast your eyes on it. Um, there are many tutorials out there to build this. So if you don't know exactly how to build it, then there are many tutorials out there to help you. But next, uh, like I said, we're going to do it all like walking around and stuff, just so you get a, a, a city kind of feel to it, if you know what I mean. So, obviously the industrial state, you can see the brick kind of area um, only, so you can, you can ignore that. But it looks good though. Um, so next you come to the work area. This is where we test out the new solar panels and stuff. Bearing in mind this city is set in around the 2020s ages. There's the testing of the WX46 solar panel mainstream in 2040. New solar panel testing will go in there in a minute. This is where all the uh, work people work and the more long you stand on this the more money you earn by working and I don't know what exactly you do because I only built this for fun. But there's my office, as you can see Rob's office, not before entering. Um, I'm just going in there because it's my office. Uh, those are supposed to be like little TVs or security cameras to watch all of these people, but obviously you can't have TVs in Minecraft, so... <laughs> Signs are the next best thing. So, um, so there's the workplaces, as I said, the longer you stand on it the better. So there's two furnaces, a bookshelf, a light crafting table and brewing stand. I don't know how many of these there are exactly on this floor. But I think there's about 20 or so. I'll show you that in a minute. And on the next floor is pretty much the same thing. But it's a bit more complex. Because it kind of turns into the point where I used pretty much every single block of space. Right, so let's look at the uh, solar panel testing. As you can see, um, if you press the button, 
we test out new solar panels with natural light in the glass and artificial light as in the uh, glowstone. We test it out on the plants, animals and people and different types of blocks as well so there are no negative effects and as you can see there are no negative effects so far. Right, um, so the next building I want to lead you on is this one. It's just, just testing on if light can melt ice under snow which as you can see it does not. So that's a little fun thing there. Uh, so here's a little viewing tower thing, I'm not going to go inside it, but it's pretty much a good thing, like a little restaurant kind of thing. Um, so over here, you can see the sanitization plant. Now, this is where, this is one of the first ever buildings I've built on this island. So as you can see, there's many contraptions here, going above would be a lot better. So as you can see, uh, what, uh, ice blocks melt within a three block kind of radius thing but not with being a four, but this one's melted because that's there. So as you can see, there's three blocks to four blocks, and that's the only one that's not melted. Um, now, and this is a very good feature that I'm very really proud of. This actually filters out all of the salt from the water. Um, as you can see, the water filter, I don't know why the signs like that. Um, but it's pretty good, once every few seconds it filters all the salt into uh, things, I don't know what they're called, and it filters it all into the drainage system, which supplies all the waters in the houses which I'll get onto the next episode. And there's just more tests on if if it melts. This is a very good test, um, as you can see. Um, just a test if it um, if it melts within a certain range. And these are the vertical farms. Now these are really good because these supply all the uh, all of the um, city's food and all of that stuff. So we've got potatoes, we've got carrots, we've got uh, sugar cane, more sugar cane, we've got wheat. We got so we got six vertical farms in total. We got two for sugarcane, two for wheat, one for potatoes, and one for carrots because they're not in big supplies. They are in um, wheat and sugarcane. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is an episode. Uh, if you like that episode, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I'll show you the next episode. Uh, I believe not tomorrow, but the day after. I believe on the ninth. And next episode, I'll be showing you the harbour which is to my right, I'm not going to show you yet. So uh, like, share, subscribe guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye for now.